E. Ray Taranik here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges, take advantage of the opportunities and assistance aspecting you, and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Now, remember, this is a weekly update, so I implore you to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign video as it paints a clearer picture of what you'll actually be dealing with for the week. Now, for the month of September, Mental Chatter Musings, oh, <laughs> Should you need your natal chart analyzed or a tarot reading, don't hesitate to message me on Facebook Messenger or you can email me at mentalchattermusings at gmail.com. Now, speaking of mental chatter musings, we are actually spotlighting the indie and traditional world by delving into the creative mastery of two prolific authors, one being Monica Walters, the other Stephanie M. Freeman. I implore you to dive into the audio, ebook, or paperback versions of their novels and check out the newsletter for specifics and sneak peeks for Blindsided by Love by Monica Walters and Season of the Blood by Stephanie M. Freeman. This month, Mental Chatter Musings Harvest includes not only books from these authors, but also a little something for your young entrepreneur. The shortest boss in the room will be gifted to a few lucky parents. And for those of you who have left an Amazon review for Deadliest Intuition, you have automatically been entered into the raffle to receive one of three cash gift cards that will be given away in the month of September. Now, don't forget to register for the virtual LCA21 conference. The link can be found in September's newsletter, or even if you click the down bar here on YouTube, the link for the newsletter is here, and you can dive in. The LCA virtual conference link is in there. You guys have to register to be able to see the author's uh, interviews and things like that. So make sure that you do that. Please don't forget to vote also in the LCA 21 Awards. The post can be found on my literary page, E. Ray Taronic, on Facebook or within the newsletter. Deadliest Intuition has been nominated for Best Plot Twist, and I am extremely honored and humbled to be nominated. Thank you to all of those who, of all of you who have uh, shown me support and believe in me. And um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Now. Please continue to check out Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group. I see you reading and chatting. Authors will be giving you their impromptu freestyles according to a subject of the ladies choosing. If you'd like a chance to participate in Freestyle Friday, please contact Ebony Evans, the president of I see you reading and chatting book club. Now, let's get into our astrology for the week. Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising sign people. Not only is this the week of the new moon in Virgo, which illuminates opportunities and assistance as far as your sector of career, of course. But Mars in our sector of work, health, daily routines, and where we are of service to others is trining the transformation you're trying to make in money and resources, personal money and resources. A blessing of rebirth is happening in some way. And it has to do with who you are in the world, how you're seen in the world, what you do in the world, how much money you make in the world. If you have placements between three degrees, more or less than the degree that I mentioned, the energies will affect you more strongly. On Sunday, September the 5th, the sun is in Virgo at 13 degrees. The moon in Leo opposes Jupiter and Aquarius and sextiles Venus and Libra, offering um good times a chance to have good times with friends and social groups now for you this would be the moon in your sector of education and skills what you think and preach uh long distance travel okay it's directly opposing jupiter over there in the area of communication siblings your networks of people short distance travel so it's a direct avenue of assistance you know, you're talking to people near and far and pe pulling in people from near and far, offering you opportunities and assistance. OK, lucky opportunities and assistance are being communicated to you. Anyway, um, 
it's a day to take a break, you know, because your ambition could be lacking a little bit. If you've been steadily working, be careful during your daily routines, especially if you're tackling mundane tasks, because repetition can cause you to do things on autopilot, Saggy. And you want to pay attention because you don't want to injure yourself. You know, accidents can happen. This is an area you square either way. So you want to be careful in career. All right. Now, um, on all fronts, you know, because accidents can happen. It can even be a slip of the tongue. On Monday the 6th, the sun is in Virgo at 14 degrees. A helping hand is great, but do it for the sake of helping, not for the rewards or recognition, even the kudos you stand to gain. Because you actually might not get it on Monday. <laughs> now, while the sun is in your career sector conjunct the moon, it's trining sudden shocks and surprises from your sector of work, health, and daily routines. Where you are of service to others and how you garner resources and money uh, in that way. You know, Mars also trines Pluto and Capricorn. So Mars in your career is also trining you making money and generating resources is pushing you to do that. Shocking blessings to your worth can be granted through work, through health, even your daily routines. For some, this could have to do with a pet, but either way, it's a blessing nonetheless, especially for those who have placements in Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn between 11 and 17 degrees or between 21 and 27 degrees. OK, it's affording you those blessings and transformations and money. Now, if you're looking for assistance and opportunities, those will be coming from behind the scenes uh, and, and it will have to do with something you've done in your solitude, something done in secret that's not really out. It's behind the scenes. Some type of closure is coming in and some type of money is exchanging hands. Maybe it has to do with shared finances. Uh, 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 as it pertains to something you're passionate about. So uh, if you have any of those placements between those degrees, Scorpio or Cancer, it could help you with shared finances as well, bringing you assistance and opportunities with things you're passionate about. Now on Monday in general, that's the day of the new moon. The new moon is at 14 degrees of, of your career sector. Don't be surprised if someone lends you a helping hand under this lunation. If it's you that assists, be mindful that you might not get the thanks or the kudos you're hoping for. But still, don't underestimate the power of kindness. If someone does something for you, be appreciative of it and show them that uh, appreciation. You know, show them that you are uh, appreciative of what they've done. A romance can spark at work even during your daily routines. Um, just make sure that both parties are not spoken for, okay? This angle awards blessings to your Taurus and Capricorn placement. So that means for the next two weeks, starting on Monday, the energies of that new moon is going to bring blessings, shocking blessings to work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others as it pertains to your money and resources that you're garnering. Opportunities and assistance are going to come to you through, uh, you know, shared finances and things you're passionate about. Uh, behind the scenes though secret sacrifice and solitude things done in secret things you've done in, in your solitude that you've been working on that closure coming in you getting assistance and garnering opportunities through that now the challenges you'll face are just going to be challenges coming directly to you through some of the relationships you harbor some people are going to be jealous of you some people are going to be gluttonous you might even have someone cheating you in the career sector you might want to look at that when you're signing contracts okay now on Tuesday, this is a specific day transit, the sun is in Virgo at 15 degrees. So where you have been working and waiting for your plants to bear fruit, your hard work can be realized or celebrated on that day. Now for some, patience pays off on Tuesday. So just try not to self-indulge uh, while you're in, while you are enjoying your bounty. It's a beautiful day for things to pay off under the energies of the new moon in your career sector. Um, there are a plethora of trines going on that day with the sun, moon, and Mars trining Uranus and Taurus uh, and Pluto in your money sector. Um, the energy for Monday is carrying over and the, and the blessings are sweetening. Remember, blessings many times come with some sort of catch-22, some restrictions, some responsibilities. So keep your eye out for 
you know, for that. You know, if you're getting money, you're working for it. You're making it some kind of way, you know. On Wednesday, the 8th, the sun is in Virgo at 16 degrees in your sector of career, you know, and it's talking about work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others in career. On Wednesday, teamwork makes the dream work. The moon in your partnership sector of friends and goals and social groups is going to be trining the foundation that you're trying to submit. The, 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 um, yeah, yeah, the, the, the foundation you're trying to submit in communication with people in your networks of people, with community, with neighbors, you know, and things like that, your friends, your partnerships. You're trying to strengthen those foundations and bonds through diligent work and goals being accomplished. And you just may do that. If you have any placements between four and 10 degrees of Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, you can definitely see blessings with your friends and social groups. Your relationships can come through with you and communicate goals accomplished to you or you to them. Your neighbors and networks of people could be seeing goals being accomplished uh, or, or communication uh, through those, which you're trying to do in those areas, okay? Venus is in the mix around 12 degrees, adding romance, pleasure, and finances, okay? So romance with, with uh, um, neighbors and siblings, uh, or, well, not siblings, but yeah, because siblings could be hooking you up with neighbors and uh, community and things like that, so you know, with finances in the in the mix, extending that blessing to 15 degrees, I'd say from four to 15 degrees of any of those air signs, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, you're looking really good to see some blessings on Wednesday. Now on Thursday, the 9th, the sun is in Virgo at 17 degrees. Any aspects between 14 and 20, this would aspect you more heavily. Not everyone's going to understand why it is you do what you do, and it's not their charge to do so. And the same respect goes for them. It's not your charge to understand why other people do what they do. But on that day, it's a day of being generous and compromising to others' needs. For some, there is a helping hand being offered against all odds. And for you, if someone is lending you a helping hand, it's going to have to do with your career sector. On Friday the 10th, the sun is in Virgo at 18 degrees. Um, your sector of career, you know, work, health, daily routines, and where you are of ser service to others, something is served up straight with no chaser. You know, it could have to do with health. It could have to do with your daily routines. It could have to do with work. It could have, it could have to do with career. Remember that honesty is the best policy. Let's hope that you um, have to say, let's hope that whatever it is you have to say, it boosts someone else's confidence as opposed to destroying it. And in the same respect, let's hope someone does that for you. Now, the moon in Scorpio, your sector behind the scenes, secret sacrifice and solitude, it's going to be squaring some type of restrictions and responsibilities that's going to be communicated to you or you communicating it to them as far as um, your networks of people, as far as siblings, as far as uh uh, short distance travel, you might have to travel, you might have to assist a sibling uh, with something or a sibling, you might get into it with a sibling behind the scenes, a sibling might be telling your secrets, you might have some sort of clash to where you don't have that closure between you and a sibling that you're trying to have, some type of restriction responsibility is, is there I'm hoping it's not a sibling of yours getting to, into any trouble and having to be in their solitude or locked up or anything, you know because of travel or something like that you know, uh, that's definitely aspecting as a possibility, but Jupiter's there. So everything, I think everything should be okay. And by that time, that's when Venus, that same day is moving into Scorpio. So you'll be fine in the background. So with that being said, whatever that restriction and responsibility is, I'm thinking that it's turning it out to be something good as far as shared finances, maybe even your passions or their passions, even though there might be some realities to face with friends and goals and social groups, um, you know, it, it still looks like there could be a blessing there with Jupiter and, and Venus aspecting. And for some, the health of another could be a focus. So where could you be of assistance, you know? On Friday, Venus is moving into your sector behind the scenes at zero degrees. Mind your temper on that day on Friday because conflicts can arise. But this transit for the next 30 days starting on Friday awards blessings to your Cancer and Pisces placements. So it awards blessings true to you behind the scenes through shared finances and your passions for home and family. 
okay? You getting those gifts and blessings coming in and creating new beginnings for you, all right? In addition to that, you also have um, some assistance and opportunities coming to you to make money, to have pleasurable times, to uh, delve into a romance with uh, someone in career or... Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah, with someone in career and it could be behind the scenes. It could be a secret. They could be assisting you. Um, they could be assisting you with money, uh, resources, uh, you know, but it could be kept on the hush. You have that assistance coming in where you're going to make money behind the scenes through career. Now you'll also have, um, you know, the friction that you were experiencing with neighbors and siblings and stuff like that, that's going to clear up because you got Jupiter there and Aquarius and you've got Venus and Scorpio. So that's that's a, a double whammy of of lucky blessings coming your way or lucky opportunities coming your way. So that square of restriction there, it's bringing goodness there. Heck, if a sibling is locked up, you might even see a sibling getting out of jail. Okay? Now, um on uh as far as your long distance travel, you have uh you might be uh traveling long distances um, you might have, uh, be pulling in people at a distance from you secretly. So if you're in a romance already, you want to watch that, um, your education and skills, what you think and what you preach behind the scenes. Of course, people are gossiping and talking crap, but Venus is there. So, I mean, it's nothing they can do about it for the next 30 days. You're looking good right there, honey. Definitely. Uh, regardless of what they say, because of that Venus being there. Now, on Saturday, the 11th, the sun is in Virgo at 19 degrees. Remember, you have the right to do things your own way when you are walking your own path. Of course, there will be those envious of you or maybe even the way you handle things with, with fortitude and gusto. You know, you don't have to take up arms just because someone else does or because someone else is jealous. On the other hand, you might find yourself being the mediator between a conflict between a couple of people in career. Now, on that day... There is a direct line of assistance to career, you know, work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others, stretching to um, share finances, endings, new beginnings uh, and, and things like that. This is about something you're passionate about. This is about an ending you've been trying to have, a new beginning you've been trying to create in career. So if you have any aspects between 16 and 22 degrees of uh, Scorpio or even Virgo or Cancer, um, you can see these blessings prevail for you. You know, you're going to have this assistance behind the scenes. Justice is going to prevail and it's because of your talents, your intuition, because of uh, something you've crafted uh, create creatively behind the scenes or someone has, okay? Um, th that's what I have for you for the astrology. Stay tuned for your tarot portion coming up next. Hello, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. Eray Taronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology, here to give you your tarot portion of your reading. Now, your whole week is permeated by the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups talks about nostalgia, reunions, past influences coming in. Um, it, it's where you appreciate what you have learned. It's where you accomplish uh, or, or you appreciate what you've accomplished, even with old friends, old acquaintances brush back into your life. And this offers you a fresh perspective. This makes sense because um, uh, the retrograde shadow period energies are starting to take effect this week. Um, in addition to that, you have Venus moving into your sector of Scorpio, moving into your sector of secret, sacrifice, solitude, things that are going on behind the scenes are going to bring you pleasure and even finances. You know, you can even have love behind the scenes secretly, but all of your opportunities are coming to you under the guise of career. You know, the new moon is in your career sector. But let's talk about, um, we've already talked about that in the astrology portion, but let's talk about your cards that are permeating the week. You have some type of love or some type of emotional fulfillment coming in between you and friends. Uh, it talks about celebrations. Um, childbirth could be indicated, you know, and new projects could be uh, taking place. Um, 
but you feel rejuvenated emotionally. There's some type of emotional fulfillment coming through um, people, you know, that you're dealing with, coming through your, your friends, maybe even your social groups. And this is where previously you've experienced some type of... Um, group dynamics that weren't working where a particular set of colleagues and, and the environment between them just wasn't meshing well um, now together you help each other see the silver linings and there's some type of celebration aspecting okay you already have more being illuminated as to a win as to some type of justice coming your way because of your apprenticeship because of your education because of some type of work or something you've been doing and cultivating in the way of work and apprenticeship okay um, you're asked to continue to have strength and you've already had strength through these conflicts or through uh, some type of it could be some type of uh, loss or some type of fights that you had um, you know some type of conflicts that you've had because of your education and skills um, with someone at a distance from you even it could even be a Leo Sun Moon or Rising sign person but now you have more being illuminated and you have that justice coming into you in addition to that, where you've had some type of heartbreak, loss, or sorrow, and it felt like you were carrying some type of burdens or stress on your back, now you have things opening up and you have new opportunities aspecting you. You have new um uh, I would say progress coming your way, planning for the future, new discoveries, even some type of financial security coming your way. So this is wonderful for you. It's all coming through because of past influences or people that you've already dealt with in the past. You have this good coming in and this reprieve uh, aspecting you this week. So um, I would say uh, things from the past are coming back to kind of work out for you or or, or even a uh, nostalgia from the past is coming out to work uh, greater in your benefit but more will be illuminated this week god bless you and i'll see you next week bye now